So Channing, there's definitely no more campers or tents here at this homeless encampment. People refer to as Camp Hope. But behind me, you can see there is still a fence up. There's actually two dogs inside the fence as well. And then just a few uh, non-permanent temporary structures porta potties, dumpsters that had been here from when the camp was running. Now you might remember how big the encampment was last summer. This is video here from about a year ago. There were more than 600 people living there and it was the biggest homeless encampment in the state. Jules Helping Hand says 200 people ended up in some sort of housing and more than 150 people are working now. They say they're still working to get services to the people who are not in homes yet. And we did talk to a man who lives near the lot here. He says he's glad the camp is gone. The drug deals, finding foils, uh, 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 hypodermic needles right in our front yard. Governor Jay Inslee sent out a statement about the camp's closure as well. He said, quote, we appreciate all those who assisted the hundreds of people living at this one site and remain focused on the long term statewide effort to connect more people to safe stable housing end quote and of course this land now without anybody on it uh, next steps for that washa is going to come in and start restoring this area taking out these temporary structures and the fencing in spokane nicole hernandez crumb 2 news